So to kind of kick off this project, uh, this is going to be a React front-end project with a .NET back-end. And I want to break down a few of the technologies that I'm going to be using for this project. First one is going to be Material UI. Uh, second one is going to be ES Build. ES Build's so much faster than like Webpack, as you can see by the speed tests. And another one, a little more technical in the weeds of React, but is it's called Louder. It's basically like a super lightweight router instead of React router. And last one is .NET. And if you're not familiar with .NET, definitely check out the docs. But for my job, I'm a .NET, you know, software engineer. This is what I use. So you can kind of see the code here. Um, I'm going to be using .NET for the back end and React for the front end. How this works is basically you can take advantage of ES Builds output directory, bundle the uh, JavaScript into the WW root folder of your .NET project, start up your backend server, and you should be able to navigate inside your React project. So to do a short recap of the technologies I'm planning on using, uh, again, it's going to be React, .NET. I think I'm going to use Superbase for the database. I've never used it, and it seems really, really cool. Um, ES build for my JavaScript bundler. And after that, it's, it's a question mark. There's a lot of options and decisions still to be made. But what are they for? The application I'm planning on building is going to be for two-stroke engines. If you've been around the channel long enough, you'll see a whole lot of engine content on my channel, primarily around two-stroke engines, fixing them, modifying them, you're making them better, taking them apart. I mean, just about everything you can find on a variety of engines. So I'm going to be making an application to basically help with that. And if we kind of dig through these components like you see me doing here, you see a moving engine component. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to start off the series by breaking down my initial plan. The plan is either going to be laid out in Jira or some other work tracking board. I haven't planned that out yet, ironically, <laughs> and but I do have a plan for the code at least, and I'm going to break that down in the next video or in the next couple videos. And from there, it's going to be just following along this process with me from start to finish. You're going to see code, you're going to see planning, you're going to see estimation, you're going to see everything that goes into, you know, really the software engineering life cycle. And so I hope it, I really hope it's entertaining. I hope it, it's valuable. I hope it adds value to you who are watching, who may be interested in this job or getting into software engineering. So I really hope you, you know, stick with me for the series. I know it's something different than what my usual content has been on the channel. But I'm really hoping to blend it back into this, and I'm very excited about it. So thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that I see you on the next one.